G'day mobile gaming fans, it's Michael Raw from Raw Raps here yet again with another game review and today we're doing Tape It Up, Editor's Choice Game and uh, about a million downloads, brought out about 12 months ago and a uh, recent update last couple of months. Really, really cool game, great gameplay. Really unique. And actually a really quite addictive game hook. So a really addictive game hook. Really simple, uh, making use of levels. Oops, sorry about that. Ah, and I'm out. So, a bit of debate whether or not this reminds you of 8 bit or 16 bit style graphics, or I suppose you could say 80s graphics. Oops, I didn't mean to hit that. And I'm out. As the name suggests, you have to tape it up, collect coins along the way, and use that as the in-app currency. So I think the style of game is really cool. I mean, I'm a product of, I was born in the 70s, but I'm a product of the 80s, I suppose. That's the era that I remember the most, and I love this game, because it reminds me of 80s gameplay. And I've done it again. I keep striking. <laughs> so ads aren't too overwhelming. Um, and I'm going to hit fever mode for 50 coins. And you just like spread it. And yeah, here we go. 22 perfect. So the good thing about this game is you can actually change your tape to heaps of crazy items, so I might, next time I get out, let's change to one that I unlock. Mystery box. I haven't done that one before. Oh, look, it's a glitch out. What does that do? It destroys everything. Wow. Oh, and we go into a different mode, so it looks like a bit of a portal. And then that gets you back in, looks like. That was wicked. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> that was cool. There's a heap of thought gone into this game. I, I, it's really sort of, not underrated, I suppose, but quite, um, oh, and I keep sliding, sorry about that. And I keep getting out whenever I do it. You can watch an ad to progress through. Get a free gift at certain time time slots. I've just unlocked double point scoring with more in-app currency. So to get a perfect, you just gotta do those three zones. So do those two zones, two zones. I will say then is that the pause button being on the bottom left is actually pretty frustrating because I keep hitting the bloody thing. All right, let's go. I'm using up my in-app currency. Mm -hmm. So pause button, bottom left. No, I'm not liking it. I'm gonna actually add that to the review, the written review on the Play Store and the App Store. I'm not liking it. Please comment what you think. Pause button, bottom left. And really, the games really need a pause button, you know? I think a lot of the newer games coming out aren't even having a pause button, if you've noticed. If you've noticed some of the newer games coming out, no pause. You need to get out and just start again. And actually, a lot of the end screen is okay. I like this function. This is great. Ah, oh, and I got out. So, please comment. Do you need a pause button? I suppose if you need... If you're going really well in the game and you don't want to lose your progress, really that's the only reason you use a pause. You don't really want to use it to go back into the main menu or do different settings, you just wait till you get out. Personally, I actually like the concept of not having a pause button at all. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know really how many times you'd use it. I don't know if I've used it a lot in many games. So get rid of it, you know? 
All right, now I'm going to show you just another skin. And let's just go back. You can actually do it here, bottom left. And I actually unlocked the, I can't remember what I did. Oh yeah, the uh, Game Boy or something. What was it? This thing, Game Boy. Game Kid it's called, but it's like a Game Boy. It's like a Nintendo Game Boy. So settings on the right hand side. So yeah, really retro gameplay, loving it. I think it reminds me of 16-bit style graphics. Or the graphics used on those 16-bit memory um, interfaces that uh, were around in the 80s. A lot of people refer this to this as 8-bit, but it's actually, I think it's 16-bit. Doing well, mystery box. Oh, I like this. The portal. Love the portal. I think this is actually a killer game. I'm going to give this five stars. I love it. I think it's so much in this game. The graphics are wicked. The um, hits of back end, the in app currency. You know, I suppose it's not unique being coins, but. Um, I like the gameplay, I think it's so unique, really, really cool. It's been around 12 months and I can see why it's made editor's choice. Um, I think it deserves more than a million downloads. I think this is probably uh, worthy of much more. I don't know why they didn't. Oh, sorry. So please comment, tell me what you think. What does that mean? Get one more life, I think. I'd like to unlock a lot more skins. Um, this one is definitely one that's good for the kids. If you're on a long trip in the back of the car or waiting for a lineup somewhere or at the dentist or something like that. And definitely harmless gameplay. It's good. So I'm actually going to give this Five stars, I love it. I think it's great. Oh, and I've just ruined my fever. Mystery box, love the mystery box. And that really ups the in app currency on that. Let's see that, that just loaded it. Okay, so uh, please comment, tell us what you think of that game. I love the game. Definitely a five-star game. This is Michael Raw from Raw Raps signing out. Stay tuned. And uh, next week I'll be doing looking at a different category of gameplay. I haven't decided yet, so I'm going to keep it a surprise. Remember, kids, a quick game is a good game, so get out there into nature and limit your screen time. Get out and play some sports or uh, get out of the TV. And um, stay tuned for my next review.